Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison. I always forget to add that into the beginning of my videos. It's just, you know, I literally forget it almost every time now. So, if you're new here, I'm so glad you stumbled across my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, it's currently 90 degrees outside and I am in a giant sweatshirt. I just worked a merchandising shift at work. So basically I go in from six to two and merchandise the store, push out new inventory, um, ref refresh the um, color stories, that kind of thing. If you guys are interested in more information about like my job and visual merchandising, let me know because I can always try to incorporate that and share a little bit with you guys. But anyway, it's 2.08 right now. I'm about to go into Trader Joe's. I need to grab a couple things. Um, there are certain staples that I love to pick up from Trader Joe's for the week. We've been going to Costco quite a bit though for groceries and we've really fallen in love with Costco. And um, I think it's Jeff's like new favorite thing. Like he was telling all of his coworkers about Costco and just, I don't know, he's obsessed. So anyway, I am obsessed with Trader Joe's as we know. So there's just a couple things from Trader Joe's that I cannot live without. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in, grab those things for, so I have them for the week and you know, see if I find anything else I wanna pick up. Usually I also grab flowers for the week, but I got flowers from Trader Joe's on Friday, I believe. So I don't really need any. The flowers I have at home are still like fresh and thriving, so. I'm gonna pass by the flowers today and not get any, I think. And I figured I would take you guys along with me. <laughs> All right, so I'm back in my car from Trader Joe's. It was so busy in there. I really tried to film, but it's hard when there's people everywhere. Um, but I thought I would show you guys what I got really quick. I only got a few things. First, I picked up the Southwestern Top Salad. Never tried this before, but it looked really good. It has green cabbage, romaine, cotija, cot I don't know how to say that. I'm not gonna pretend I do. Um, roasted pepitas, tortilla chips, green onions, cilantro, and a spicy Southwest avocado dressing. Stay tuned, I'll let you know. Um, then I picked up the Ride or Die Sourdough. This is the best sourdough ever. I cannot find anything that even compares remotely. Even um, like farmer's market sourdough, it just does not compare to that sourdough. Then I got these bagels. Love these bagels. It's the cinnamon swirl raisin bagels. I eat those for breakfast a lot of times. And then I picked up a ton of Cliff Bars. I've been eating these recently. I don't know, I'm having kind of a bar rut when it comes to protein bars. So I've kind of just been trying out a bunch of them and figuring out what I like. Um, I'm fully aware that there is like sugar in this, but I just think there's bigger problems in the world and I love sugar. So then I also got some Earth Balance butter. I always use this butter, um, dairy-free, vegan, and it tastes like real butter, honestly. And then tomato basil marinara and this I got for Jeff it's his favorite sandwich from Trader Joe's and then I picked this up to try for lunch it's the shawar shawarma shawarma chicken flatbread wrap and it's seasoned with chicken meat and vegetables wrapped in a flatbread with tzatziki sauce super excited to try this it looks so good Honestly, probably gonna eat it right now because I'm shaking. That's the only thing about like being up so early. I feel like I'm hungry for dinner by like five o'clock and I need like two breakfasts and a lunch and everything in between. So just, there's pros and cons of waking up at 5.30 in the morning. Actually 5.20 if we're being detail oriented which we are i'm gonna eat this on my way home and i will give you guys an update as well on how it is if you're wondering but i'm gonna turn on my air now because it's so hot <laughs> good morning guys i'm currently 
about to do my makeup and I figured I would start the vlog. What in the heck happened to my hair? I'm currently drinking my coffee. It's the Blonde Roast Nespresso Pod from Star it's the Starbucks Blonde Roast. It's pretty good. Um, it brews a really small amount, so I have to do it over oat milk. But overall, it's pretty good. Also, I always get so many questions about my silk pajamas. Most of the time, they're thrifted, but this pair is actually from Target. I think they still have them, um, but the bottoms are shorts, which I love, especially in the summertime. The best thing I've been using right now on my eyebrows is the Got To Be Glued Styling Glue, and I literally put like a pea size amount on my hand and then I get my brow brush and I literally push up my brows with this and they stay beautifully and nothing holds my eyebrows so that's saying something um it is literally styling glue but that is fine you can kind of like play around with it but I feel like it just like lifts the brow excuse me they're so like sleek and i've kind of gotten over the whole like perfect eyebrow look because i could never get them perfect and i feel like it just stressed me out and then it's like not that deep so this is my only current mirror situation which is very sad but I will fix it and have a better place soon but i'm about to leave i figured i would show you guys my outfit i'm just wearing like this hanes like wife beater tank literally it's my boyfriend's and then i just did a bra tuck with it um and then i have on these jeans from zara they're like more loose at the bottom and then i'm wearing these nike sneakers with the green checks and it's really simple but I just felt like dressing up today. I feel like it makes a difference and I don't know. It makes you feel a little better. And I haven't gotten ready in a couple days, so that's the situation. About to leave. Um Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I just got to North Park. I'm about to go in. I always park at Nordstrom. Um I saw Kenzie Elizabeth was talking about this too. But does anyone else like have like a set place that they park when they go to a mall? Like a set place that they always park? Because I'm just like that. And I know that I'll forget if I park like at a different place, like parked outside like Neiman's or something. Like I would probably walk towards Nordstrom because that's where I've always parked. Anyone else like this? I'm just so like habitual, I guess. But anyway. All right. Quick Nespresso haul. Giant bag. Okay, first we got one thing of the double espresso scuro. And then we got two of the... This is the new tropical coconut one and you can brew it over ice. So we got two of these. I'm super excited about that one. I got like an email about them having a new flavor. And then one of the Intenso pods. One double espresso charo. These are so good. I love those. Um, two Melozio. One of the Ice Ligero, wait, two Ice Ligero. These are really good over the, over ice. These are probably the best ones over ice. And then one Ice Forte. This one is a little bit more coffee, but you also brew it over ice. I would say it's a little bit stronger, but so good as well. And then lastly, a Costa Rica. And then since the order had at least 10 of the different um, capsules we got a welcome gift so it's this giant box and I'll show you guys 
So it looks like this. We got a thing of the La Comblita Reflida. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of it, but that's really cool. And then it came with two of the Nespresso mugs as well, which is so cool. These are so expensive and we got them for free. So great. And then these are coasters. How cute. But anyway, so many Nespresso pods. I'm gonna fill up the jar now because it's looking, the jar is looking very sad over here. So I'm gonna fill this up. So I just put all of them in here, but they're literally completely stocked in this drawer all the way back. We will not be running out for a while. Also, while we're here, I thought I would show you guys. I got a label maker the other day. I got a label maker. It looks like this, but I went crazy and I started labeling everything. So, got brown rice pasta up there, basmati rice, tea, quick oats, sugar, coffee grounds, got all the baking supplies in here, canned goods like pasta sauce, soups, that kind of thing, and then nut butters in here. Um, almond butter, peanut butter, and then in here we have protein bars. I don't know why he always wants to go back there. In here we have protein bars. Um, splits are in the back. I need to get more of these because we had a lot more, but they're just so good. Um, so all the protein bars. Um, these are all nuts. Um, all the liquid IVs. We actually just picked these up at Costco this last week, but we got the energy multiplier ones. Haven't tried them yet, so stay tuned. And then the hydration multipliers, which are really good, and I feel like they actually make a difference. And then we have like all of our crackers and like snack foods, and this one, kind of empty. Um, Archie's place is back there, I guess. And then cereal and granola is in this one. We have all of our reusable bags down here at the bottom. Archie, can you come out now, please? Come on. Come on. So I'm brewing each of us a tropical coconut over ice right now. This is their new flavor, but I love the way the capsules look like. Just so aesthetic. But I'm just brewing it over ice. I have these beer glasses. The 16 ounce ones are from Crate and Barrel and then these are the 20 ounce ones. Those are from Amazon. I'll have both of them linked down below. But I love the way it looks when it brews over ice. Like it's just so... It smells really good too. I'll do a taste test. I'm gonna add just a dash of oat milk and probably a little bit of this silk vanilla. Just for a little flavor. And some stevia. Archie. No. Okay, I'm gonna vlog my first impression of this drink. So let's see. I brewed it over ice, obviously, and then added the creamers that I showed you. Dang. What are your thoughts? It's really good. Really? Yeah, it's like almost like a lighter coffee. It, it tastes very like tropical. You definitely taste the coconut. Like, I feel like this would be the coffee that would be served in Hawaii. Yeah, that is good though. Honestly, I would rate this like a... 8 out of 10. And I feel like it's a kind of coffee that you would want to have like in the afternoon. Not like a first coffee type of thing. Because it's more like... I would say it's lighter, but it's really like refreshing as well. 
Okay, so I just pulled up to Home Goods. I want to go in and like see if they have things to organize the fridge because I was, I was watching Emma Chamberlain's latest video. I was organizing her fridge and our fridge is slightly organized, but like I need it to be the level that Emma Chamberlain's is organized. So I'm going into Home Goods right now. I'm gonna see if they have like certain, like almost little bins to like put certain things in and stuff for the fridge. So then I can label them with my new label maker. We're just really um, taking things up a notch these days. So I'm gonna go into Home Goods, see if they have those um, and anything else. And I thought I would take you guys with me. So far, I found these bins for the fridge and these for an espresso pot. Stay tuned. All right, I just walked in from Home Goods. Hair's a mess. It's so hot outside, but I figured I would show you guys what I picked up. So first, I got these. These are really nice to like put pans in or like the glass lids, and we need a better organization system for down here. So. A lot of our pots are in the wash right now, but I got two of these for that. And then I also picked up this scrubber brush for Jeff to clean the panini maker. And then some Himalayan pink salt lentil chips. I saw these and they looked good for like hummus, um, guacamole, that kind of thing. And then my grandma used to always get these, so I picked them up as well. Um, but they're just hummus and garden bell pepper tortilla chips. I remember always eating these at her house when I was little. And then some olive oil. Actually, quick tip about olive oil. Always get it at Home Goods if you can because it's so much cheaper. This was only $4.99 and this would be like $8.99, $7.99 at Trader Joe's. So a great deal. And then I picked up three of these um, acrylic bins to put in the fridge. They're stacked right now, but I'm thinking of putting like three across. So, got this, and then I got this storage system. Um, they stack on top of each other, but they don't have to. Archie, no, Bubba's. They stack on top of each other, but they can also, um, like, go by themselves. So, pick this up. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And that's all I got from Home Goods. And then I was right over by Home Goods, so I decided to stop into Nordstrom Rack because it was right there and I picked up these orange sandals. They're so cute. I've been looking to get like a pop of color sandal for the summer. These were only $22, which is so good. Um, so I'm excited to style these. I'm thinking of like a white and button up, some jeans um, and have these just be like the pop of color. So I'm excited. And I also love the square toe. And then I got some dry shampoo and that's all that I got. Archie. Also, we still have our old mattress right here because we don't know what to do with it yet. So, I already know what these taste like, but I just need a reminder. So, yep. Does anyone else like? dipping stuff in guac or is that just me also i'm gonna edit this out because i also cannot stand hearing people chew all right i'm gonna put all this stuff away and start organizing cue the montage all right while i organize i wanted to show you guys the book i've been listening to i'm already like quite a ways through it but it's by khalil rafi and rafiti rafiti i think it's called i forgot to die i listened to an episode on the skinny confidential podcast with him in it and it literally had me in chills it was almost a year ago but i'll leave it linked down below if i can find it as well as this book it kind of makes my stomach hurt but like it's so interesting it's one of those things you just like can't stop listening to he had a massive drug addiction and was like literally living on the streets addicted to heroin and then he completely turned his life around and opened up a bunch of smoothie shops called sun life organics um you've probably heard of it but they also opened a store in austin that i'm gonna go to this summer so i wanted to listen to his book and it's so incredible 
I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want something to listen to. I've been really into audiobooks lately. Not sponsored. <laughs> oh, he's fine, Chris said. He's just got the sickness. This is the before. All right, this is the finished product for now. I put these little bins right here. So this has like all of our lunch meats in it, all of our meats for HelloFresh. And then in here we have like bagels and sourdough. And then I put like all of our dips over here. So we have like guacamole, um, pesto, Jeff's spinach dip. There's like a um, cauliflower dip back there as well. And then put cheese in here our hello fresh in here in the brown bags we only have two of them right now um and then all of our like veggies and stuff down here so we have like carrot chips spinach um this chopped salad that i got from trader joe's the other day and then i have cut up cucumbers back there as well i like to dip them in like guac or spinach dip that kind of thing um and then the doors are like not really organized yet um but yeah, we also have our kombucha up here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it up here because I was considering putting it in our um, wine cooler. But I don't know yet. So that's, that's how it's looking for now. I feel like it looks so much more organized. Um, I wanted to make this shelf shorter so I could fit these bins all the way across together. But they wouldn't fit and then I couldn't make this shorter because the Brita so made the most of it okay I got these little bins um, today from home goods that I showed you guys and I was thinking um, all of our Nespresso pods aside from the coconut ones that we put on top that we got today um, are like seasonal so like this is the peppermint pen whale. we got a bunch of them because Jeff was worried that it wouldn't come back even though I am pretty sure it comes back so Anyway, we have a bunch of like these seasonal ones. We also have a ton of the pumpkin spice cake. So I want to put those in these little bins and then like label them like fall Nespresso or whatever so that we can pull them back out when that time comes. I also don't know like how long Nespresso pods last, but if you know, let me know down below. I feel like they could last a while though because it's like literally just like ground coffee inside we also have these pour over um carafe pods they're like bigger and it brews over this but we don't use it that often because the coffee is like it has to be served hot so like it's usually like a once in a while thing that we do so i'm gonna put those away too and i'm gonna sort them into into these little bins and i'll get out the label maker it's a whole situation but that's what's going on All right, time to use the label maker. I just typed out seasonal for um, this canister. So this has like all the peppermint pinwheels and the um, pumpkin spice cake just to like put away until next year. And then these are all the pour over ones. This is a random um, decaffeinated one, which we've never used because well, what's the point? I filled this jar up with like all of our favorite ones just to like have on hand because I definitely want to have these like out and displayed on the counter because we drink these the most often. She looks beautiful. There's nothing like a freshly stocked stash. This thing is literally the best thing I've ever purchased. Okay, prints. Okay. And then it comes out on this little side over here and this part like cuts it perfectly which is literally the best thing ever perfect and then i'm just gonna cut that and then i'll probably cut this because it's two different labels in one So 
this is how the drawer is looking. We have all of our extra boxes of the Nespresso pods that didn't fit in the jar up there. Um, they're all in here, just stacked on top of each other. And then in the back, I have all the pour over pods. And what's really cool about these is you can literally just pick, like pull this thing up and just grab one out. And then I have the seasonal ones down there underneath. Super organized in there. Um, and then I have an extra one of these that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. All right, so it's a lot later now. I just finished editing this vlog for you guys to get it up as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been loving making all of this organizational content for you guys, and I hope you're enjoying it. Definitely let me know what you want to see from me in the future down below if I should continue organizing everything I own or if we want to see a variety of other things. So just let me know down below. Let's chat. Also, I wanted to let you guys know I just made my Amazon shop page. So I linked like a lot of the home decor items that I've purchased for this apartment that you guys have asked about, like the lamps. Um, that kind of thing. So it'll all be linked on my Amazon shop page as well as all the links to like certain um, pieces within my apartment are linked down below as well. So check out the description box. Check out my Amazon shop page. I've added so many like organizational things on there as well. Just so much stuff. So go look. It's all of my favorites. I literally went through everything I've bought from Amazon within the last year and added the stuff that I truly love. So let me know what y'all think and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next